Yes, I've left Eat Sleep Play. Um, I'm looking at about three different concepts that I would like to make as my next project. Um, What's up, gamers? Once again, we are back with the number one podcast with the most swag. I'm your host, The Blacksmith, along with my co-host, T-Hill. What's up? This week, you guys need to hold your head. We have with us the creator of God of War, the man who's more twisted than any metal in the world, David Jaffe's in the building. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate that. It is not a problem. I'm just, just elated right now. Well, I'm happy to be here. I know we've been trying to schedule it for a bit, and uh, life's just gotten nuts, and so I'm, I'm glad that we finally were able to connect and do it. No problem. No problem. Um, I wanted to start off, if it's cool with you, um, of course, the the number one thing that everyone's everyone's minds and and everyone's talking about is PlayStation Vita. Yes, I was uh, I was able to pick one up. I'm thoroughly enjoying it, but I wanted to get your impressions on the PlayStation Vita because I know I can count on you to just give it a hundred percent. You know, we're gonna get straight up David Jaffe. Yeah, no, listen, I mean, I. Uh... I'll be honest. I mean, when I when I first saw the Vita, I mean, there there was never a time when I didn't have a lot of uh, 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 what's the word? Uh, there wasn't a time. There was never been a time where I haven't been impressed by it as a piece of hardware. But I was always pretty, um, you know, unsure about its prospects, just because not because of anything the Vita does or doesn't do, but because of just you know the nature of what's happened with the smartphones and. I was like, you know, does does the world really want or need, you know, dedicated handheld gaming anymore? And and I was feeling that way, honestly, up until I turned it on and got a couple gameplay uh, sessions out of it, and I was like, okay, this is really fucking great. So I I've been, um, I, I I didn't need to be converted to it from a standpoint of a piece of quality hardware, but I, I I've been converted in terms of. It, 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 it of realizing that it provides a substantially different enough play experience that it, it, it does merit, you know, carrying around um, when the time is right, a brand new kind of fucking piece of tech in your pocket. So I'm, I'm a big fan. I, I definitely have to agree. The Just the way it feels in your hands and the way the screen mesmerizes you, you know, I, I think I fell in love again. <laughs> well, <laughs> and right now while we're talking, and I think one of the things that Sony is is definitely getting better at, um, you know, is is just their 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 sort of meta user experience in terms of the fact that it plays music in the background, the fact that it's fun to move through the menus, um, the fact that you can kind of stop and start any game at any time. It's 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 much more of a pleasure to browse in the store now. Um, on the on the PSN or whatever it's called now. The only thing I really don't like about it at the moment has more to do with the software, which is I really wish the PSN store, uh, and I'm sure this is coming, uh, ha had at least screenshots, if not videos, of some of the games because there have been a lot of times I've been sitting there playing it going, hey, this looks pretty cool, but I have no clue what it is, and so I don't buy it. But I have to imagine that's coming. That's actually a, something that I think a lot of gamers will want. It's a... Uh, it's, it'll enable you to get uh, more of a, a a taste of the experience. Oh, absolutely! I mean, there's that game from Capcom that's like I forget what it's called. This kind of it's got a cool icon of some dude's face, like monster or something. It's got like almost a five star rating, and I clicked on it. I'm like, well, maybe I'll buy that. But then I'm like, I don't fucking have a clue what it is. Mm -hmm. So, but it's great. I, I've been I've been. Really enjoying it, and I've been absolutely um, surprised that I am, am such a fan when I didn't expect to be. 
Wow, that, that, that that's big right there. I could yeah. definitely agree. Um, my next question would be um, basically something you touched on. What game would you like to see on the Vita in the in the launch library that wasn't there from the beginning? You mean like a brand new game that's never been designed, or you mean like a game that was on the PSP that I wish they would have ported? Or I'm not sure what you mean. What, whatever's your flavor, you know. However, you, if it's a game that that you think that should have been on and that's already been out, or if it's a game that um, that you feel maybe you know would have utilized the 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 